Hey guys, it's Michael from GFX Buddy here, and uh, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create this animation in Cinema 4D. So I started off uh, with finding uh, some paths on the internet. Uh, so I found those leaf paths and exported them to Cinema 4D, and I'll be providing you this Cinema 4D file uh, with all the leaves, so you won't have to model them. I just took those paths and used some extrude nerves. Oh. Uh, so nothing difficult. We also have this animated leaf that is pre-animated with a twist, uh, with a twist effector. So let's start off by cloning all those leaves. So Morgraph cloner drag all those four leaves into the cloner and set on the mode object. So we will need an object, we will take a sphere, go to display, go rush shading and set the type to icosahedron. Segments are alright, but radius needs to be like something like this, 77 seems alright. And then drag the sphere into the object. So we will have all those leaves cloned onto it, but turn off the traffic lights so we won't see the spheres that's that's getting cloned on, and set the distribution to edge and the offset to 100%. Okay, so that's ba basically how I cloned it. Uh, we can turn it, the garage shading off again and copy the sphere, so we will have a background sphere to apply a texture on it, as you can tell here we have kind of background beneath the leaves. Okay, so that's actually for the modeling. Um, we have this animated leaf here, so let's take our spheres and drag them up so the leaf will fly onto the other leaves. So that's the maximum point. So just adjust it however you need to. Try to not intersect it. That seems alright. That's alright, I think. Okay, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and do the coloring or the texturing. So I also provided you the materials, so you can download them and then you have to go to create, load materials, and it'll be called autumn materials. Uh, of course you can use whatever colors you want, but those are exact the same colors I've used. So first of all, that's the background, so I'll put it on the background sphere and use the flat projection. Then leaf one on leaf one, on two, on three the hang out of it. And the animated, I used a little bit of a different uh, material for the animated leaf. It's basically just a luminance channel with a gradient used as a texture on 100%, a reflection that's blurry, and some sharper specula. That's actually it. And use, uh, select those all. Uh, and set them also to flat. Okay, <laughs> so that's actually for the texturing. Um, let's go ahead and I used for the lightning global illumination, so let's turn it on. Oh, it's also already turned on, so um, we will use QMC on medium and we will need some light source now. So I use Grayscale Gorilla's HDRI kit, so where is it? Window Content Browser. Okay. For some reason it loads a little bit longer. Okay. So, like this. Um, you can basically go ahead, use the sky object, and just use some sort of HGI map. It will work the same way, but it's just quicker for tutorial purposes. 
and basically by doing that you already have a nice looking scene so what I really like are those blurry reflections but I really want some sort of highlight here so I'll go ahead use a plane lower the segments rotate it like 45 or 40 degrees and also shrink it down like this okay now we will just use a luminance channel on it 100% should be alright don't really need more and by doing that we get those really nice specular highlights okay so now it's time to position our cameras so go ahead and go to camera and I used an 135 millimeters focal length on it I added a follow tag uh, I know it's now called a target tag and dragged in the leaf so what I actually did I I went into it twice one with and with different cameras so if we go into our camera we will have basically this animation and the first camera will go from frame 49 so frame 49 till frame oh no from frame 90 no oh, my bad okay from frame 0 to 90 excuse me uh, so we will the first one will be rendered from frame 0 to 90 and the target tag is, is just following our leaf so we don't have to set any keyframes on our camera and we have also adjusted the focal length to something really bright like this so it's set on Taylor objective like this and that's actually the first camera the second camera uh, will be a little bit similar so take the second one it'll uh, render the frame from 49 to 170 and uh, the focal length should be as a normal lens on 50 yeah. okay so something like this so we do see how the leaf flies on the other leaf but we will only use it from 49 so from from here to 170 so that seems alright maybe a little bit closer yeah like this okay so what we will do is set our multi passes or our render settings before we do that um, I have here a compositing tag and it's just used for the object buffer so we will uh, give our cloners also a compositing tag and set the object buffer to number one now we can go to our render settings go to whatever res resolution we want to all frames save that to 16 bit alpha channel save that add enable multipass add object buffer and another object buffer the first one is a write on group id1 and then set the second one to number two and add reflections reflection and the aliasing on best one by one four by four should be all right and global illumination qmc medium is also all right so what i have done is i just made saved it like uh, this one was camera one for example and I just went ahead and said this one will be camera one so from 0 to 90 and I rendered this out like this and then I made a second doc document a second file just saved it and it rendered from 49 to 170 with this camera like this so yeah you basically see it like from 49 
to this. OK, perfect. So uh, that's actually it for the Cinema 4D part. You just save it, render it out. You can also um, add those two documents to the render queue. Go into render and add to render queue. I've done this so it will render one project after it finished the first one. Pretty handy so it can go away. Leave your computer on and it will render both files. So now I'll be showing you the composting in After Effects. So that's the after composting in After Effects. So that is actually a scene we have come up with. Um, this is camera 2 and this was camera 1. So this is without any CC or any after production. So what I have actually done, let's start off by with camera 1. I have added the reflection pass. So as you can see a little bit more reflections and I've added some curves to the reflection pass. Um, then I've used all my multi-passes or object buffers. It enables me to still be able to color correct everything even after I rendered it. So as you can tell I've set a glow to each object buffer and some curves like this. So I was still able to set to make some color correction to the second leaf and some color correction to all the leaves after I rendered it. Then I've added this effect where I just well, we'll need the background. The background is basically just a, a ramp, a solid with a ramp and some curves uh, that will give contrast to those two colors. Then I added flares. It just looks a little bit more dynamic, I think. Also a light on the top. And then I just took the main render uh, scaled it up a little bit on 108% so I scaled it up a little bit and on opacity I put it to 5% so it seems like we have little layers it's really subtle you can see it when the leaf flies that we have really subtle layers it just kind of fakes the motion blur it, it, it seems like it's motion blur or or like something dynamic. And I've done that also to those. I scaled it up and set the opacity to 3. So just like this. Uh, then I added depth of field. What did I use for DOF? Ah, oh, just use a uh, fast blur. I didn't render a, a depth multipass this time. I just I think I forgot it, I'm not too sure, but I think that also looks realistic because that's like the zoomed in area, the close one, and the main highlight is sharp. So I just took an adjustment layer, fast blur, and masked it out, as you can tell. Then I added some overall CC to it, just some a little bit of contrast a lot of the blue channel probably on the red too no and on the green one also nothing so just a little bit of contrast and a little bit on the blues and uh, that's how I made the after composting uh, same with camera 2 all those passes uh, the light let's turn on the background so all those lights then the color correction as you can tell you can after you render it you can still go ahead adding curves and and adjust all your leaves and, and just love those multi passes that you're still able to do that uh, you can see all those little layers here it also looks like mo motion blur uh, that's the reflection pass I also added some curves to them uh, what's that? I, I added the glow. Then again, those depth the field with the mask. I added a text that says autumn right here. It starts to fade, and I just keyframe the opacity. And 
some key, uh, color correction. Okay, so that was basically the autumn tutorial. I hope you liked it, you learned something new, leave feedback and don't forget that you ha can download those files for the objects in the description and bye.